What is going on, everybody? We are back on it, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Episode 8. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit ahead on videos here, especially for my Patreon members. I don't want to miss out on any videos. So I am recording this before you guys have seen Episode 7. So I don't want to spend too long, kind of, because I don't have any comments that you guys left on any of my questions to recap. So I don't want to sit here and kind of harp on questions that are already brought up in Episode 7 since you guys haven't had a chance to see that reaction or answer any of those questions. Um, <clears throat> we left off last episode, though, with finding out the truth behind... I still don't have clarification, because, again, you guys haven't seen it on either how to make the fakes or how to make the ultimate Sorcerer's Stone. But to gain that kind of power, that kind of, like, boost on a um, alchemist abilities requires human sacrifice. Um through the kind of research and kind of the clues they were able to put together put together from the doctor and the girl that has one of the best memories ever um they were able to kind of piece things together find all of that stuff and it looks like they've been taking prisoners from a jail because it actually makes perfect sense no one's going to be checking for them or missing them especially if they're on death row you know toss them to you know whatever doctors or scientists you have um they've found kind of in rundown um laboratory but it's also being guarded so clearly they're probably still conducting those experiments to make the stones um either full versions or semi versions who's making it why are they making it who are they giving it to kind of the, the who what when how i'm not sure yet but i'm sure we will find out um al and ed are all healed up ready to go and we left off last episode with al getting kind of bombarded by whoever this dude is um, let's just pick up for there and see how it goes. So I have 21 minutes and 21 seconds left. That helps you kind of sync up your episode. We're pressing play on it right now. Number 66. See, like a possessed dead body, or I feel like Al needs a weapon at all times, so he needs to carry a sword or an axe or something because he can get real reckless knowing that he kind of can't die, but he needs something besides just them hands. Oh. this number 48 so we got number 66 and number 48 I like their character design Holy speed. Besides Ed being able to like transmute things without a symbol, I still don't know how he got his reputation, but we haven't seen much fighting skill from him as far as speed and strength. Is he? He's just like his brother. Hollow. The probably failed experiments that they sealed their souls inside something. Is it so why do they obey the people that kind of fucked up their bodies and soul? Maybe because they promised, hey, if you serve and protect this laboratory, we'll give you your body back. Shit. 
just like his brother. Wonder why he decide he chooses to be the watchdog. Why not just let him go? So probably not him. Probably limped up. So it looks like his storyline isn't finished yet. Better find him. They actually might need the backup. So you have two bodiless souls in a suit of armor fighting each other. And one person that has familiar with it. Let's see how this turns out. He knocked his shoulder out of gear. Yep, not as strong. Yikes. Better summon and transmute something. You take off that head. Even if you don't destroy the symbol, just like knock the head off the body. We saw fucking Al can't move without when his leg and stuff gets gone. You need to start removing some. Alright, Mr. Full Metal State Alchemist, show me something. I want to see. We haven't seen him really be pressed lately. And succeed. Made me think Al's going to bust up in there. There you go. That's all you needed to do. He's hollow inside, just like you. Does the body move without the head? Oh, yeah, it does. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah. See, Barry? Yeah. Butcher. You want to start cutting up humans? Yep.
All right, go ahead and dot this dude up. No, he is the same thing. <laughs> He's going to feel sympathetic. Oh, stop. Don't do this. He's still a little boy. He could be easily kind of mentally manipulated. Hmm. Oh, f fluff. I did forget, because even though, well, I don't, that's a question you guys haven't answered, slash, I don't know. You tricked him. Got his ass. You better get it quick, because we know the body can move. Because I know, does Al age or no? Body still moves. You know this. Come on now. Oh, God. At least I thought we knew this. Maybe maybe um, Al's body doesn't move if you take the head off. Oh, an independent. Oh, they had to triple replay that one. All right, Al, feel free to help. I do can. He destroyed, so he can do it. That was a question I had. Could everybody just do what the Scar dude does? Just destroy and don't put it back together. So they can do exactly what the Ishvalan does. He's an alchemist, but instead of decomposing and reconstructing, he just decomposes. I don't think he minds or even wants to put things back together.
Don't do it. This also sounds like All Might's voice actor. They just have kind of like a, a dub. Some kind of a synthesizer over it. This is going to tell us everything. Okay, of course we're not going to get that information, you piece of shit. <sighs> He's weak, losing blood in enemy territory. What is the plan? I think you're out on this one, Ed. Unless you get some backup ASAP. Episode's going to end, though, isn't it? At least we're finally getting this encounter, so we can maybe hear what their plan is, what they want, etc. Yeah, what is the plan? What do you mean? What's the sacrifice? What are, what are we doing? his arm Oh, that'll do it. Why are they allowing? Ah, uh, we're not going to get any answers from this shit either. Damn it. We finally get somewhere that might have answers and they're getting rid of that place too. And now their camaraderie is going to be broken because they don't, because Al's freaking out and oh lord. And then we got to deal with patching this relationship back. Boom. Um, I was about to say, we all just gonna... Where they put fucking Ed out on the front steps? Because they said they need him to live. I was about to say, move, boys! This is a woman? Can't tell. Precious resource. Because they like his potential as an alchemy alchemist or what? Oh, they said he, so I guess it is a guy. 
with like the midriff cut off skirt. I can I don't know. Oh yeah, they're connected to the prison. Are they gonna blow up the whole entire like side of the street or just the building? We didn't get any information out of all that. Nothing. They leave his hands that close together? I feel like that's not good. Is that it? Ah, oh, that is it. Oh, man. I mean, we didn't get anything. <laughs> We didn't get any information, any information regarding kind of just the who, what, when, where, how. If anything, we ended up getting more questions. Pretty much the antagonist that's been there since I'd say episode one or episode two finally got face to face with our kind of main character. And we really didn't get any kind of insight um, other than they're the ones kind of that are in control of these um, semi a sorcerer stone factory sacrificing bodies but they they could have easily killed him there there's nothing um edward could have done um but they said he's a valuable piece and he needs to be kept alive i wonder why that is they plan on using him for something in the future but i mean he's never going to willingly pro I'm, I'm, well i guess never say never maybe if they promised him something um, but I don't see him willingly helping them with whatever their overarching plan is. I don't know if they want to just mass produce and sell half uh, semi-sorcerer stones and make a profit or see the world fight each other and need to come for them for sorcerer stone. I, I don't I don't know what their their goal is. If they are looking to bring somebody back to life, but we already know that guy shapeshifts. Um, if they want to control, make money, if they have kind of a deeper um, thing, maybe they want the world to fight so that the world can always be in peace, kind of like, you know, some kind of like um, anti-hero goal, or if they're just pure evil, I'm not sure yet, but they said they need to keep Ed alive. Um, I'm sure we'll kind of find out as that goes. But we really didn't get anything information-wise as far as like pertaining to like us learning anything new other than they want Ed alive, and we don't know why just yet. Um, we also didn't get in, we almost got the information from that guy. I really thought we were going to get the information from him, and then there they were. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how long it takes for us to get there. I mean, I'm actually sorry, there's 60 episodes. We're already, a si we're almost a sixth of the way there. By this time next week, um, We'll only have 50 episodes. I mean, 50 episodes is a lot. It'll still take us 25 weeks. So what are we looking at? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. We're still looking at six months. So it's going to be well probably past summertime. What's that? March, April, May, June, July, August. Yeah, right in the middle of summer we'll be finishing up. Um, yeah, there's just a lot we need to know. And I feel like we're slowly now. Like the storyline is really starting to like pick up here. At the beginning we were kind of just having like different kind of plot points. But we've slowly been, I mean, this Sorcerer's Stone thing and finding out how it's being made and what's being done for it um, is the story right now. And we're finding out other about the, um, the Ishvalan guy and we're, we're getting to see the villains a little bit more and a little bit of their personality and kind of what they're trying to do. So everything's kind of snowballing to this, the Sorcerer's Stone. Who, what, when, where, how. And then what do they want to keep Ed alive for is kind of the big themes we have going on currently eight episodes in. Like I said last episode, I don't know if the theme of the anime will change. Are they going to be the main villains for the entire 60 episodes? Our goal will be to defeat them or to get a Sorcerer's Stone. Like, is that going to take the entire 60 episodes? Or do Ed and Al get their bodies back? We find that maybe the Philosopher's Stone isn't the way to go or they end up never getting one or they defeat these villains. And then around episode 25 or 30, the anime completely switches switches focus. Maybe there's a new war, 
or somebody comes to take over, or are these kind of glutton and the girl and the guy going to be the villains for the entire story? Um, I could see it switching gears and pivoting, but to what and how, I'm not quite sure. But we'll leave that there. This will be Thursday's video starting next week, or my Patreon members will see this. When this is on YouTube, me talking about next week will be too late. Um, Demon Slayer will be starting next week on YouTube. So Code Geass will be done. Oh, let me put that on silent. Code Geass will be done. Um, so the new schedule, just for one more week, though, because then after this week, um, what are we going to do after this week? Well, I guess, I mean, I'm going to be doing Full Metal and Demon Slayer. I was about to say, because so next week, Hunter Hunter will be done and Code Geass will be done. So the new upload that I'll be planning to do is for YouTube. It'll be Monday, Demon Slayer, Tuesday, Full Metal. But if you're on Patreon, what's going on YouTube, you'll have already seen. You'll still be getting, for everybody, for YouTube and Patreon, Monday, Demon Slayer, Tuesday, Full Metal, either early access if you're on Patreon or whatever the episode we happen to be on on YouTube, Wednesday, Demon Slayer, Thursday, again, Full Metal on Patreon or whatever episode we're at on YouTube. I'm thinking of taking Fridays off, Saturday, My Hero, and since we're taking Fridays off, I might slowly start doing one episode a week of Vinland Saga. I really don't want to commit to doing like two, three episodes of Vinland Saga. I don't know how many episodes there are, how, you know, what to kind of expect if the, if the second season is about to pick up. I don't know how many episodes of Demon Slayer there are. I think if there's only 24 because the anime is still ongoing. I think there's only been one season, correct? Um, so those 24 will finish before we finish that, before we finish Full Metal. So there's a lot we kind of got going on. But starting next week, it should be Demon Slayer, Full Metal, Demon Slayer, Full Metal, off My Hero. And then once a week, Vinland Saga. I got to see how many episodes it is. I don't want to dive in and commit to like two, three episodes a week and we just kind of get like bogged down. But um, we'll go from there. We'll see how it goes um, and see when we want to start these anime podcasts that you guys voted on. Um, yeah. You guys enjoy it. Patreon, I will see you guys on Tuesday. Um, or maybe Vinland Saga will be up this Sunday. I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out and go from there. Help us get to 6,000 subscribers. If you're seeing this on YouTube, like, share, favorite, subscribe. And as always...